it's Jessica, and welcome to Death Stranding. So, this is a game that I have been looking forward to ever since Hideo Kojima managed to get his own studio to work on something. And I am a huge fan of his work. I actually do enjoy his stories, even though I know people know him for being very complicated, having very weird games. Um, one of the biggest franchises that he has ever made is called Metal Gear Solid, and I have all the games right here. I do have five, it's a digital copy though. So like I have the original, like Metal Gear Solid one, I've got two, I've got three, and then I've got four and five on my PS4. So these games, they do mean a lot to me. They have like a, such a great story. One of the greatest stories that I've ever, you know, experienced. Now, this game, in particular is not going to be the same as Metal Gear Solid. I know it's not. It's going to be completely different. It's something new and something different. I'm not going to lie, I am a little bit nervous because I'm not exactly what, you know, the game will entail. I know the brief summary of it. I was trying my best not to like spoil myself with all the new trailers that would be coming out in the last few weeks. So I haven't really seen gameplay except for in like reviews. And I can say it's not like as fast paced as people thought it would be. I didn't think it was gonna be that slow, quote unquote. But hopefully if you're here just to like look if this game is for you, hopefully my video will help. But if not, I hope that we will enjoy this story and it will be fun to play. Before we get started though, I wanna give a huge shout out to my patrons, including Alec. Thank you guys so much for supporting me every month. If you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get early access to videos, shout outs like this, other updates and polls and exclusive stuff on there, also bonus videos. So if you're interested, you can go check it out in the description. Let's start. I'm kinda nervous. Hideo Kojima posted on Twitter, like these are like different kinds of settings. Normally, I play between normal and easy, it just depends. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to focus on the story, mainly because this game, I think it goes up to 70 hours, which is like a really long time, especially if you're trying to do a let's play. So for the sake of uh, me making videos, I'm gonna focus on easy, because I actually enjoy, you know, the story and stuff like that. I, I don't think the gameplay is like that, like, difficult compared to like example Metal Gear at least I'm hoping it's not but uh just for my gameplay I'm gonna play easy so, so, whoa that's my birthday what the hell statistical analysis has indicated that Doom's abilities vary according to the sufferer's date of birth in order to establish your own ability levels please enter your birthday yeah that's my birthday is this your birthday it is October 10th Higher levels of Doom's ability has been observed in those born under the constellations such as Cancer, Pisces, Cytus, Delphinius, and Gigas. I actually don't know what's going on. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's a. Uh, this is just Kojima's opening, isn't it? That's his like mascot. That's actually pretty- that's only the freaking opening for his- his, uh, studio. Oh my god. The rope along with the stick are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick is to keep the bad away. The rope is used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends and of our own invention. Whenever there were people, there were the rope and stick. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion. Oh my god. A bang which gave rise to it's life. It's Norman Reedus though. And then came the next explosion. So this is like the following thing. And yeah, Death Stranding is supposed to be the cataclysmic event that happened to us. But I don't know exactly what the Death Stranding is. This game... I mean, I know we're not like seeing much, but the Decima engine is really beautiful. <laughs> Death Stranding. Oh my god, I can't believe we're playing it! I can't believe I'm actually playing it! And the fact that they chose Norman Reedus Obviously because they worked together when they were doing the PT stuff. 
Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen. It was supposed to be Silent Hills. But I'm excited to see um, how the story will unfold and how how the storytelling is. Because if I know anything from Metal Gear, the storytelling can be very compelling when it comes to Kojima. So I'm excited for it. So beautiful. And they got a lot of good actors in this too. Is that us? Gilmer de Toro, his best friend. <laughs> yep, it's Sam. So basically we're like a like a UPS deliverer, essentially. We're just a delivery man. Sounds like it's gonna rain. I'm assuming that's a bad sign from the trailers that are telling me and the birds that are flying away. Is the rain like acidic? His hair color just changed. Oh dear. Better get out of there, Sam. What is that? <laughs> I think that's a BT, right? Yeah, all the animals are freaking out. Oh no, that, that one can't make it! Oh no! Oh, it fell! Dude, where are you gonna go? <gasps> Oh yeah, see, the rain is, like, killing them. Oh my god! Yeah, it's like a sick rain! That's scary, I don't like that. <laughs> Wait! Oh, am I moving now? Oh god. Uh carry on back. Where's all my other stuff? Recover cargo. I don't is that all I got? Okay, R1 to scan. Oh 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 Okay, so I have to be careful. Sorry, Sam! Oh, I have to hold on so he may make sure he doesn't fall over. What intuitive gameplay. <laughs> but where's that person we just hit with our bike? Did we not hit a person? Or am I crazy? Oh, that's the scan the cargo scanner. That's pretty interesting. So if I lose any of my packages, I guess I can find them that way. Okay. Let's go in. Sorry, that was so sloppy. I just need to get used to the gameplay. I didn't know we had to balance ourselves. Sam, Norman Reedus. I met Norman, actually, uh, in 2012 at Fan Expo in Toronto. He is the nicest person ever. He's honestly really nice. Oh, hey. 
Oh, hey! <laughs> he has handprints all over him. I just noticed that. Sam, you better get that before it goes into the rain. <gasps> oh my god, yeah, it does burn. What? What? What's happening? My controller's shaking. Wow, they actually like had... T they have goosebumps like fully animated and everything. Oh my god. And texturized, I should say. What's there? I, I don't know how... What they are, or what, like, how scary they are, too. Uh... It's like they're killing everything around them. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's it doing? No, my packages! My pa- Oh god, oh my god, oh my god. Aren't you not supposed to make noise around them? gonna kill me later <laughs> you have to hold your breath if it gets near Jesus I was about to say his arm was still all like you know red so that means it's still there what is this thing gonna leave So is it like, it's only, it's blind, right? It can only hear them by sound, I'm assuming. Or them breathing? <sighs> Jesus. Please tell me he's actually gone this time. Oh. I think those are the dead. From my understanding, the BTs are like the dead people who are stuck in between worlds. Like, in between the living and the dead. That's my understanding of it. Prologue, Porter. Wow. I'm I'm actually very intrigued right now. She's still holding on to him. Gone. What the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Oh yeah, his arm is like all Teams. red. The chiral allergy. So you have dooms like me. I've got the extinction factor. I think you got me beat. What is that? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. A little too, then. Oh, I guess it's my ability based on my birthday, that. right? Try I guess everyone has a different ability. Same as you. Time falls that up. My name is Fragile. Hi. Yeah, I've got you. <laughs> Who are you? Fragile Express. 
Sam Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Yeah, your favorite delivery man. What the heck is that? What? Why? What is that? Keeps the time fall away. Ew! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to piece everything together. Is the time fall the rain? Wanna come work for me? It must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now. Oh, is Thanks she another person who who does deliver too? I'm On assuming. That, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. Oh. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Didn't we hit her with our bike earlier? Or are we not gonna talk about that? Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Yeah, I kind of figured that. him and the time for fast forwards whatever it touches but it can't wash everything away the past just won't let go i'll see you around oh the bridges. i thought the rain is like acid the rain makes things age faster that's why those birds were dying and his hair turned like a lighter color oh okay i get it I thought it was just like straight up acid, so it wears out everything to the point where it gets old and dies off. That's very interesting. Okay. The blood and stamina gauges. The red bar is the blood gauge. When it reaches zero, Sam will die. Blue bar is stamina. This gauge will deplete. Sam moves more slowly, maintaining uh, his balance harder. Okay, so basically I gotta be careful. We lost our bike, which is not what I wanted. Uh, but now we gotta walk all the way over there. All right, I unfortunately have to turn off the copyrighted music. I'm very sorry. Oh my God, I almost fell over. But it's so beautiful. I pulled the name of the song on the screen in case you guys want to listen to it yourself. But I got to replace it on my video. Oh Jesus, don't fall, Sam. This is nerve wracking. I hate this. I already have a problem with heights. So like, this isn't helping. Okay, okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Okay, okay, hey, don't fall. Oh. Yeah, see? It's just like half of it's like already dead. Endurance Gauge appears above the stamina while performing an action in the worst of Sam's body. When Gauge fully depletes, Sam can no longer bear his load. Be sure to take a break before this happens. Okay. I'm trying my best, but we gotta cross this way. Come on, Sam! I guess we can add that to our pack, right? Even though it's gonna add more weight, but I think that was one of our packages anyway. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out like the controls and everything. So far, I think the game looks very beautiful. Uh, the Decima engine, I think it's Kojima's own engine for a studio, right? So it, it looks lovely. I can't believe this is gonna be majority of Sam's like objectives is basically to deliver. I think it's this way. Is this the person I have to go to? All I know is that the human race is kind of, you know, gone. And we basically have to connect everyone by providing them with supplies and stuff. 
And Sam seems to be like a freelancer. He's not exactly working for the company. Oh, there's more cargo! Lost cargo! I thought this was a person. You know what? I guess I can take it, right? It said eat what? What was that? I can eat something? Oh, it's gone. I don't know where it is. Uh, There's something over there, like a structure. So maybe I'll go towards that. I basically have to be careful of how I'm gonna like proceed any further. Because I could like knock him out and kill him by accident. I don't want to do that. Whoa, it's a whole like city. Hang on, let's go down this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sam, be careful. <laughs> it's actually really. You know, it's it's funny because like I'm so used to like Metal Gear being whole like action pack and like nerve wracking because you're basically stealthing around trying to find the best way to take down people and this one is just like I'm trying to find the best way to not knock Sam over and spill all my stuff all over the place. <laughs> Which I think is like interesting. It's a different dynamic compared to like his other games so... I, I, I don't know. So far, I do like it. I can see that me playing this in my spare time. Because I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. I am only planning to do the main missions in this game. Psych stuff, I'm going to do it my own time. And I most likely will probably try to summarize these videos. Because I know not everyone likes to watch me walk around in a game. Oh, why does it say caution? I can't go that way. I'll have to find another way across. Maybe I shouldn't have come this way. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to summarize uh, the game because I know watching Let's Play videos nowadays is not the same as it used to be. And I don't know if anyone wants to watch me walk for like an hour. So I'm gonna try my best to like summarize everything for you guys. So it's, um, you know, enjoyable. I want these videos to be enjoyable for you guys. Whoa. Should I walk across from here? I'm trying to find the, the best way to get across without killing myself. Maybe I'll go this way. Yeah, what is that? The Kyra bites to restore blood level. Losing too much blood will cause your movement to become sluggish. It makes it harder for balance. Eating Kyra bites will rapidly restore your blood levels. Oh, so that's for hell. But I'm assuming, like, those kind of things. Like, if you think about apocalyptic kinds of situation, if there was nothing left to eat, people would probably start eating bugs, right? That's what happened in Fallout, isn't it? <laughs> like, they started eating, like, cockroaches and stuff like that. So I'm just assuming that's why they're eating these, like, weird-ass bugs. Okay. I think this is the way across. I don't know. Thankfully, the music stopped, so you guys can hear, like, the lovely sounds of this game. Okay, I can jump, but it will cause me to lose some stamina. Okay, I gotta be careful. So, like, everything I do, I have to, like, make sure Sam doesn't lose it. Alright, we can go through here. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> I can't go across that way, but I can go down here. So, I'll, I'll take this route. Run and stop running. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's another way I can travel, but again, it will take up more of my uh, stamina. What is that? Another lost cargo? Hey, we can take it, right? Might as well. I'm, I'm getting a uh, carry to- Oh my god! Oh my god, he can fall over! Carrying too much cargo will make it easier to lose your balance. If you find yourself swaying left or right, use uh, triggers to shift your weight. Cargo Thank you. Oh my god, he can- Oh my god, I have to balance it when car carrying this stuff. I mean, it's a lot of stuff that he's carrying, let's be real here. Okay, so we got scanned, so we are supposed to go here. Um, we're verified. I'm assuming we have to go in there. Oh, oh my god. Jesus. Why is it so like... Bro, I just want to turn. <laughs> this sucks. 
Is there a way I can, like, carry one? No? Because I'm really, like, if he can, like, carry one with his, his hand, maybe that will be a better way of, like, traversing with, like, all this cargo on his back. All right, we just have to get into that building. That's all I have to do. Sam, this is the only thing you have to do. Climb those stairs and you'll be fine. Oh my god. I don't envy him. Because, like, we don't even have a motorcycle anymore. Central Not City. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I don't want him to fall over. He already fell earlier. Activate terminal. Delivery, okay. So, uh, make delivery. Okay, we'll drop the cargo off. Making a partial delivery to submit required cargo currently in your possession and return with the remainder when convenient. Oh, uh, okay. If the cargo submitted meets or exceeds requirements, you may designate the order complete at any time. Make partial delivery. Did I miss one package? Oh, I think I missed one. Uh-oh. When delivering cargo for an order requiring a specific number or amount of items, you'll be given the following options. Complete order. Partial delivery handover. Items currently being carried. Then go back to acquire more. Can I just give this now? Well, I mean, I, I gotta go find it, but... <laughs> I didn't know I left one! That's bad. Oh my god, I got fired? Delivering cargo. Okay, deliver lost cargo. So I found some lost cargo stuff. So that's something I have. Emergency provisions. Dude, I'm I'm going to get fired. I ha I lost one. That's probably when I fell off my bike. So I'm in, in into the miscellaneous category. <laughs> okay? So that's kind of like my skills, I'm assuming. Porter grade. Uh, now what? Do I need to go back and get it? Name's Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. What the hell video was that? I can talk? Don't mind me. Don't mind me. <laughs> I was pressing the the pad here. That's what he he, he does when you do that. Name Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. But is there other people around to even hear me? That's the other question. Access permit required. We don't. We can't even go that way. Oh dear. So I gotta find the other package basically and come back here. I think that's what I have to do. I can't continue. Oh, there's some smart drugs over there. Okay, I'm gonna go quickly grab that and then bring it back over here. One foot, right in front of the other. <laughs> I like how he talks. I like this. I think it's even funnier that he can talk to himself. Oh my god, I almost fell. Luckily, I didn't have to go far. Here's the other one. Alright. Alright, sweet. Now I have four. Now I can go back and give this to them. I think that was the one that fell off our bike because it doesn't look eroded or anything like that. So, that's definitely ours. It must be really lonely for Sam to be de a deliverer because what I'm noticing is like the people who get packages and stuff like that, they don't seem to like uh, go outside their buildings or anything like that. I mean, why would they? Because of all the BTs and like crazy monsters that are probably out here. Um, it's like an apocalyptic kind of situation. All right, now I got it. Also, this is like a like a station, right? So it's not even like the the main part of the city. Can't believe I forgot this one. <laughs> I need to look at the objectives before I was running around. I was just excited to explore, that's all. Okay, let's put this in. Yep, all right. Complete order. Sorry about that, here's your other package. Please don't fire me. <laughs> oh, it's Mama. It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Yeah, and I hit a lady, I'm so. The air. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so. Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. Okay. Bye!
Okay, finally. I got an awesome S rank! <laughs> What's happening? SND. Sherelle Protocol Online. What's going on? Oh, it's open now. Oh, I was about to say, don't make me walk across that. I don't have my bike. Someone's picking me up. Is that a car? Why is it all the way up there? That's an interesting design. What the hell? Corp corpse disposal team. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Hi. Is that border, I presume? Right. Not the touchy feely type. Talking to said you had some kind of phobia. Oh! Oh, that's why he reacted like that well, with Fragile! Gotta move on. I'll explain as we go. Oh, okay. Come on. I thought it was just like, don't touch me, I don't know you. I- he has a phobia, okay. Come and take a look. Alright. What are we looking at? A dead body? It's said corpse disposal, so... He's got a date with the incinerator. Oh. How long since he flatlined? I don't know the exact DOD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh. Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. What, what do you mean? Uh, closest incinerator's to the north. I have to carry a dead body? Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. You put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just We I feel like I'm gonna do it. Dooms. Dude, I don't want to. So wait, if they don't burn the body, something bad will happen with them, right? Oh, that's creepy. I have well, to carry that on my back. The first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So oh, wow. Okay. In the trailers, there's, there's a bunch of craters in there. Water. That's from the dead. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With it's helping you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. All right, here's my way to see the the floating dead people. Is the bridge baby? And I think. Shit every time. Well, you are yeah. On the other side. It freaks me out too. And I think it's interesting that no, that they use a baby to Roll connect out. the living to the dead. Because if you think about it, an unborn child isn't live yet. It's not born yet. And, but it's not dead either. It's still, a, it's a living being, right? In the mother's womb. So I think it's really interesting that Kojima used that as a metaphor for this. That that's connecting us to uh, the dead people, the BTs. I thought that was so cool. It's, it is creepy though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Please tell me this guy's not gonna die while I'm out there, like, going against the BTs. That's not what I want. I want him to come with me, and... Oh, was different when I was a kid. Oh, God. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well pleased. No need for couriers like yourself. I mean, there were kind of more, like, airplanes. couriers. Hell, you could even visit other countries. So, is the Death Stranding only affecting North America, is, or is it the Hard whole world? Now. As you can see, the Death Stranding poked us full of holes. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna say the Death Stranding affected condition. everyone. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the timefall came and washed you away. And those freaks from the beach showed up. The worlds of the living and the dead all mixed together. Yep. 
And that's when folks started holing up in the cities. Couriers like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Yeah, because you're basically risking your life to help. Right? Because no one wants to go out there. And I don't blame them. I, I wouldn't want to go out there either. So, Rainbow. No! Dude. Dude, what's happening? What's happening? We're to cut to the BTs. What's happening? Oh my god. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. There's the rainbow. Rainbow means like the rain and and, and, and the BTs, right? That's what I'm getting so far. What's happening? But if we make noise, isn't the BTs gonna attack us? I'm scared now. <laughs> Put your freaking hood up! What is that? What was that? Engine stalled. Jasper's got us right where they want us. Get us out of here. How? We can't drive. Oh my god. We're screwed. Can you see anything? No. I don't see anything. No, Do you? Nothing. I'm actually actually terrified. So I guess the connection with the BTs and dead bodies obviously would make it like uh, it's turn into that. Or <sighs> the BB is busted. That's our only way of knowing. Oh my god! I keep looking around because I keep hearing something. Oh god. Oh god, there's a strand! Do you see that? <gasps> That's not good! That's bad! Can I turn around? I can't turn around. It won't let me. Let me guess, they're all dead except for me, and then I have to deal with this myself. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Why are there a bunch of crabs here? Oh no. Sam? Sam, wake up! Where's the other guy? What's his name? I already forgot. Igor, right? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get up, get up. Are we injured? I think we're injured. Oh no, we're injured. Should have burned the body. Sam was totally right. What the hell is it turning into? <gasps> oh no. He's stuck! Oh god! He's stuck! You can't because he's making noise too! And he's aging! Oh my god. Yeah! Stop making noise! Dude, stop! It's too late for him. I'm sorry, but it's too late, man. I think it's going to the dead body, maybe? Or not? Please tell me it's not coming my way. No, don't say that. Don't. I we're not safe, dude. I know we're not. Oh my god. Uh-uh. Get away! Get away! Sam! 
that's what they turn into. It like feeds the BT, I'm assuming, right? Because it's like a dead body. And the BTs are connected to the dead. Oh, hell no. No! <gasps> oh, that guy's dead. Stop talking! What is wrong with this guy? Do you want a death wish? scream sorry they're, they're still out there oh my god that's troy baker isn't it that's troy baker's character where'd he go what stop shooting what are you doing Did he even get to shoot himself? I don't think he did. What the hell is going on now? Oh my god, oh my god. Take the BB! The BB is the only thing that can kind of help us now, right? What the hell? It's like a Titan! What? Is that the explosions they were talking about? Like when the person dies and they liquefy into that creepy oily thing, they create a crater. Is that what Sam was mentioning earlier? That thing creates the crater? Are we naked? What happened? Oh no, it's out! He has an allergy to it, isn't it? Is that what that is? I don't know. Cause like, we, Fragile mentioned that earlier, but I have no idea what's going on. What? It's taken already. He has a scar there too. What the hell? And there's a bunch of whales, which stands for BT, which is beach things, which makes sense because the dead are kind of stuck. Right? They don't belong there on land, but they're stuck there. Death Stranding. That's the opening! <laughs> oh my god. That was scary.
Um. Falling down. Falling down. London Bridge is falling down. My fair lady. What the hell? She's in his picture, right? What is she doing? Those are all bodies in there. Oh God. Oh, I can move. Sam is a uh, okay, meaning he can return life from uh. Oh, he died. He died. to Matt's character somehow? Ew! What the hell? The baby's fine, right? Yeah, I created a crater. So wait, did he just die just Once then? There was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Yeah, essentially, right? Because like every time this happens, it's probably killing, you know, the Earth and killing more people, obviously. But that whole image of Matt saying, are you, uh, you know, can you hear me and stuff like that. And then, that's, that's why, I, am I, am I thinking this wrong? I, I, I'm starting to think that Sam is connected to Matt somehow. Because it just seems like they're, in, from the trailers that I've seen, it seems like they're in two different timelines. And since there is time plot lines happening in the story, it makes me think that, like, somehow they're connected. Where are we? Huh? Oh, he has a dream catcher on him again. I think it's a dream catcher. I'm not entirely sure. But that was on his case. Episode one, Bridget. Oh, you're awake. So, how does it feel to be back in the world of the living? Don't worry. Give him out! <laughs> well, a coroner, originally, uh, thanks. Call me Dead Man. I'm well acquainted with the Get dead. it? Cause he's Not a coroner? Like you, of course. 
contrary to the name, I've never actually died. Um. I would advise against that. Why? I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? Oh, everyone has one. So I'm a prisoner. I noticed that he did have that when we were walking around. Cutting edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Oh, us. Yep, bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin, like this. Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. Oh. The cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days. During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. Okay, You're am I right? Patriot. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD guys? They died. Central Knot was obliterated in the <gasps> annihilation. Game over, man. Place is a crater. Like how this game over on the screen? The wants to get it continue where you for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge, baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? <sighs> we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central North City. Oh my God! So they all died. We're at our base, in Capital Knot City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can wow, do. Wow, sponsor monster days. energy. <laughs> oh god. Are a mess. Wait, was that them in the little figures? The director and his support team we're out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. Uh, that's good, right? I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Huh. Uh, this stencil is from when you repatriated? Okay. Uh, what's the other mark from? A clinging woman in a cave. Yeah, she grabbed me really hard. Mm, I see. Aphanfosomphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, uh, the job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer. In oh. critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, because Sam. Because he's pretty good at his job. Honest, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. What? <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. That's why everyone's Imagine crying. They're all the allergic. Word in the big triangle building. Ah. Here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. Uh, the truth, Sam, 
is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Yeah, I was gonna say, really if they have morphine, no. there's no point. They want to meet with him. But why? Why is Sam so important? I wonder. He's gonna take it. Very good. I'll see you in the isolation ward. Okay. All right, bye, dead man. I also noticed dead man had a scar over his forehead. Did you guys see that? Okay. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Sam Porter Bridges. <clears throat> All right, time to deliver this thing. I don't know exactly where I need to go, but I'll figure it out. Order for Sam Porter Bridges. Request transport of morphine to isolation ward for immediate administration to the president. So this is very interesting. All the things that I'm finding out about this game. Oh, what's going on? Codex. Check the map on your cufflinks if you're lost, Sam. Okay. Isolation ward should be pretty. It's like Codex and Metal Gear. If you're not sure how to get there, you can set markers and draw routes too. Try it out, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, okay. Open cufflink view to map. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of reminding me of like Otacon. <laughs> I can draw a route. What do you mean? Oh, here. Place marker. Oh, you can like dr actually legitimately draw it on the map. That's my custom drawn thing. Ah, uh, and then it shows me. Oh, that's actually really cool. Uh, that actually will help out with more difficult kind of, you know, ways of me getting towards certain areas. I actually really like that. That's actually pretty nice. Can I climb over this? No, probably not, right? <laughs> Yo, reach your marker! What's up? Your friendly neighborhood dead man here. Ha! Uh... If you want to confirm you're headed the right way, check your compass. It'll never steer you wrong. Provided you have a destination, that is. Compass. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I have to get used to all these things, but um, I'm glad that there's like different ways you can navigate the terrain. If you want to just go on by your instinct, go ahead. Or you can use the map with placing markers, or you have a compass. It's actually pretty nice. Dead man, are you gonna keep calling me? Home to Bridges HQ. It was also the seat of the Reconstructionist movement. If the president hadn't required special treatment, she would have never left. And huh. if she had we wouldn't have either. Okay. So yeah, she's in this building, the Triangle Building, right? Isolation Ward. Northern outskirts of Capital Not City. Hello? Like I said, the vital signs are all trending the same way. No chance of a recovery then? None that I can see. Oh, she's like t terminally we should ill. I mean, she has cancer too, right? It's me, dead man. Hey, you weren't that far away from me. He has a phobia. Sorry. Did you forget? <laughs> I'm afraid the president's condition has deteriorated. Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Her? Huh? The first and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? What? 
You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. She's like our off mom? Also, she's the first and last female president. Wow. All right, we got to the isolation ward. Thank you. Awesome, we got S rank again for just delivering that. <laughs> Oh, we got cargo condition leveled up. That's pretty cool. President's office. Oh. That's the president's right hand man, the director of bridges. Die hard man. What are oh, up with these names? You were with Bridges One. So, I guess no introductions are necessary. Die Hard Man, Dead Man. <laughs> Hi. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. Oh. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. So that is his legit mom. Right? Madam President, we've brought Sam. <laughs> we'll leave you two alone. That's why they, they wanted him to deliver it so badly, so he could talk to her. Sam, I knew you'd come back. Are you doing all right? It's Lindsay Wagner's character. Amelie. Amelie. You remember Amelie went west. Took her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help, Amelie. She needs you. Together, you can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, Humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. We do. Alone, we have no future. No, America's finished. I guess I... the president of Jackson. Listen to me. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh my god. That is kind of scary. So you are willing to help me? No, I...
I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Oh. <gasps> She's dead. Madam she President. She's dead. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. He he saw her though when he died. Died. I can't even confirm if he died or not. She's gone. Ropes were connected in the air. I was like, that makes no sense. Wasn't that picture different though? Like she looked younger. Listen, no one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now, what happened here does not leave this room. Do you understand? Yes, Director. But there's still the matter of the body. I know. I corpse this <gasps> Are we gonna do it? Oh my god, we're gonna have to do it. Sam. Before she died, the president made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me? Like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. Yeah, she she grabbed she grabbed That's him. Not symbolic. I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question, and there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? Carry her body out of here. We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. But the president's body has to be burned. The road from Capital Knot City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now, the only way there is on foot through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's gotta be BTs. This job has requirements. Tombs. Repatriate. Yeah. So me. Why? Yeah. Sam, you're already on the clock. Yeah. Now get it done. Sam Border Bridges. It's like we're being forced to do this. He didn't even want this. Underground entrance. Oh my god, we're gonna carry her dead body around. But we have no choice, because like, yeah, if, if that thing happened like with the other body, it will create a crater and kill everyone. But it's like weirder because this is like his mom, right? Can I have a moment? President Strand believed in American Reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. She deserves a funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. If she dies, America dies. Without her, bridges will cease to be. Listen. Her cremation must be carried out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? Who's gonna take her place? Face it. 
America's history. Sam, America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us, but we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. <laughs> yeah, what? what? I don't know what they're talking we're about. We're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. That's the reason Bridges exists. So it's take in the, the name. first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. This is messed up. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. Oh my god! The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy carrying a body up there. <sighs> That's so creepy. If anything comes up, we'll offer you support by the cufflinks. Oh my god. So we have to hurry before she starts to turn, basically. Okay, guys, we're gonna end that first episode right there. Wow, I am actually very, very intrigued with this game. There's a lot of unanswered questions. I think it will take time for me. Like, when we play more of the game, I'll start to understand what's going on. So, the, the allergies, why everyone's crying, it's because of an allergy. It's not because they're crying. So when those things that are floating in the air show up, they start crying. S Sam is a special case. He has dooms. He also has the ability to uh, come back to life if he, he dies. Um, what's the other thing? His mother was the president, but she wanted to, she sent a person named Emily away, but it was supposed to be Sam, and I'm just assuming something happened between them, so Sam ended up not going. And with the BBs, the babies, they're the only passage to seeing the BTs, which is the beach things, which are the dead people stuck in between worlds. That's what I've gotten so far. Uh, I know this is a lot, but again, this is like Hideo Kojima, this is what he does with his stories, they're always very elaborate and very, like, confusing. At first, you kind of have to piece everything together, but I really like that. That's what I was really excited about, was the, was the actual story. I'm really, really, really excited about that. The gameplay so far, though, we didn't really get too much into it, but... Uh, yeah, it's gonna be like you have to be careful not to fall over. It, it is gonna be tedious. I know it is so I want to hear from you guys if I do continue this as a let's play Would you like me to show you the full walking simulator or just show like when exciting things happen because again I I do want you guys to be entertained while you're watching this I don't want it to be like boring because I had a feeling that maybe I will do like some of the walking parts on live stream and then maybe the rest of it just a regular let's play video i don't know we'll see what happens it kind of depends on you guys and what you think anyway if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like let me know in the comments what you think also if you have any theories or anything like that please drop them in the comments i would love to discuss it with you and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes of death stranding thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye